it was pretty clear in 1966, 67, that um, you had to address the social and economic problems um, if the political and civil rights were going to have meaning. And, and Robert Kennedy and Joe Clark and others took on the hunger issue. And I would um, stay in touch with Robert Kennedy all during that period. And on my way back, after a visit to Washington, I stopped in, as I always did, to see him. And Robert Kennedy told me, after he asked me how things were going in Mississippi, and I was horrified by how slow everything was and how little progress. And by this time, the country was preoccupied with the Vietnam War and the money was going there. Johnson was preoccupied. And so people were forgetting um, what was going on in these poor communities across the country. Um, and um, I, I shared my frustration with Robert Kennedy and told him I was going to see Dr. King on the way back to Jackson. And he said, tell him to bring the poor to Washington. And he was by this time running for president for the Democratic nomination. And um, we needed to let them people see the poor, see their, hear, hear their needs. And so I was the, the transmitter of this message. And Dr. King um, had a very, very modest office in Atlanta, and he was sitting by himself always, constantly at the end, trying to figure out what is the next step to take. And he was often depressed about what to do, he was depressed about the war. He saw the poverty was around him. He had helped us very much in the refunding battle of our Head Start program. And when I told him what Robert Kennedy had said to bring the poor to Washington, his face lit up. Um, and he, um, what do you say, I, it made me think that I was an angel delivering a message. And he went home and told Coretta that, you know, that this was the right thing to do. His staff didn't like it a whole lot. I mean, there was a big split about whether CLC or his organization should be focused on ending the war or whether it should be on the war on poverty. And obviously he chose the war on poverty, but it was so difficult for him with internal dissension. His last Sunday sermon title, which he had called in on the day of his assassination to his mother in Memphis, um, he told her he was going to preach on why America may go to hell the next summer, Sunday. Um, it was, again, if we don't share our richness, um, the blessings of our rich, our wealth, with all of those who need the basic necessities of life, we're going to go to hell. And um, he called for this poor people's campaign at a time when there were 11 million poor children. Gosh, if he were living today when we got 15.5 million poor children, I have no doubt that he'd be out here trying to call for and leading a poor people's campaign. <laughs> 